and welcome to project 66 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this animated search field by just using html css and javascript so now here you can see we have this uh, glass icon right here and if you just click on that so it'll now expand the search field and it will also gives us this mic right here okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code and write our code first of all let me just create a folder and i'm going to give a name of like 066 and then animated search bar okay or i'll just write animate search bar like so now let me just create three files in there so i'm gonna just write index.html style.css and finally let me just write like app.js for javascript so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code all right, so the first thing I would do is I would just write doc type HTML. And now here as a title, I'm going to just write like animated search bar. Okay, and now let's just link that to our CSS and also um, with our JavaScript as well. And now let me just close this metadata from there. Right click on it and open with the live server. And now we are good to go. And by the way, let's see again. Uh, I mean, like, <laughs> let me just get my phone awesome from the Syrian website. So here I'm going to just write like font awesome, font awesome, and it will now give us our font awesome. So I'm going to just click on this link and copy it. And I'm going to also paste it underneath the title and above the link. So now let me just comment that out and not comment, but just let me just hide that. All right. So for HTML, we are going to be just writing a container. Inside this container, we will have an I with the class of FA solid and then a FA magnifying loss. And finally, we would have a magnifier. Now, the next thing we would do is that we would just write our input right here. And now let me just give a class of input as well. And the placeholder will just say like search dot dot dot. Okay. And now let me just write a new I and give a class of FA solid. Solid. And let me just give him one more class like FA microphone. And then finally, let me give a class of mic icon. So once we save it, now here you can see we have this mic icon and also this search icon. So now let's jump right into a CSS and now let's style that a bit. So the first thing I would do is I'll select everything. And also let me just provide a margin of zero padding off zero, not padding bottom, but all around. And box sizing will be border box and font family will be totally sans serif. Let me get the body. Give my height of like uh, 100 VH and margin will be zero. And display will be, come on, display will be flex, justify content will be center, line items will be center. And now let's just change the background color, background to be uh, like 1B, 1B, 1B. Okay, so that's that. Uh, you know, let me just save this file and this is how it looks like right now. So now let's just get our container right here. So let me just get my container. And inside this container, we are going to be writing a display of flags. Align items will be center. Justify content will also be center because we want everything to be center, okay? Oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to just uh, remove this justify content for now. And background color will be just like 29, 29, and 29, okay? So this will be the background color. Now let's just give them a little bit of padding of 5 pixel all around. Width will be like 300 pixel. And also, let me just give them a height of 50 pixel. Okay, so that's then now let's just write a border radius of like 50 pixel and box shadow will be just one pixel one pixel and five pixel which will be 29 29 29 29 so that's then now let's just provide a margin of 10 pixel all around position will be relative and then finally let's just provide a transition to the width like 1.5 seconds so once we save it and now this is how it looks like right here okay so this is the container now now let me just style this input really quickly so to style there first of all let me just select there by the class of input which we've provided right here okay now let's just provide a margin to it first of all margin will be like 10 pixel top and bottom and 50 pixel left and right and width will be like totally 100 percent color will be totally white and border not yeah border well now let's just remove that ugly border from it and background will be also uh transparent so you want to remove the background as well and finally let's just write outline of none and transition delay will be like 0.5 seconds so once we save it okay so this is how it looks like right now and now let's just tile 
or microphone and or magnifier. So now let's just get started working with or magnifier right here, okay? So let me just write a magnifier here. And inside that we are going to be just writing a position of absolute and left will be 15 pixel, width will be 25 pixel, text align will be center, margin will be like zero auto because we want it to be center, cursor will be pointer, color will be now let's just change this one to like FFA31 and then A. So once we save it, and this is how it looks like right now. Now the next thing that you have to do is to also style or microphone. So now let me just get that microphone mic icon and which is this class right here. Okay. So now let me just provide a position of absolute to this one as well. And right will be just like 10 pixel. And then we have a width of like 30. Come on, not auto but 30 pixel. And now let's just provide a transition to the width. So transit come on, why the hell am I getting this? Alright, so transition will be width for width and 0 0.4 seconds will it take and also transition delay. Okay, so now let me just write 0 0.5 second in, in here. So once we save it, it will gonna take a little bit of time because we are getting there. And you know what? I forgot to change the color of it. So now let me just change the color of it to that same color which we provide above like FFA 3131A. Okay, so once we save it, all right, so now we can see that. Now let me just provide a classes for a JavaScript. So I'll just write a, first of all, like active, active, come on, active, and then container. If a container is active, so you want to just provide a width of like 50 pixel and display will be totally flex. And now the next thing that you have to do is active class on or input. If our input is active, so you want to just um, provide a width of like zero. And then finally, two active will be like mic and icon and width will be zero. And finally, we are going to be creating a utility class which will be like hidden. And we are going to be using JavaScript to toggle this class. So visibility, hidden, server file, and everything is just the way it is. So now let's just jump right into the JavaScript and now provide interactivity to the site. All right, so for JavaScript, the first thing I would do is I'll just get my search container and I'm gonna just write like document.query selector of this container. Okay, and underneath this container, we are going to be getting our mic document.query selector. And now let's just provide our mic icon in here. And now the next thing is cons magnifier. And it will be now equals to document.query query selector. And now let's just get our magnifier. Okay, so now let's just attach a well listener on this magnifier. So whenever we click on that, so you want to just toggle that hidden class and also the active class. So let me just write like magnifier come on magnify all right magnifier i guess i messed up all right so here you can see i misspelled it now let me just write magnifier so that's that now let's attach event listener on it so once we click on it we want to call this function which is uh, this error function we cannot see that right now but now you can see that so now you want to get our search container we want to add not add but toggle um, search container toggle and then this active class which we wrote right here okay this one all right so now we want to toggle that class and also now let me just get my mic class list and just write a toggle and here we're going to be just passing or hidden so once we save it and now if i just click on this um search button right here so it will just collapse it and if i cl uh, click it one more time so here you can see it will just uncollapse it right here Okay, and with that being said, we are just totally done with our project. And I guess that was it about tonight's video. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.